And we're hearing heartbreaking stories of loss, but also incredible stories of survival. A mother says a stranger stepped in to save her and her children just as she was losing hope. News 4's Adam Harding spoke to that family and the heroic neighbor tonight at St. Barnabas Hospital. And Adam, the mom, says the stranger carried her child to safety. A very grateful mom tonight. Gilma, she is just so thankful her little girl is alive. An incredible story here. This good Samaritan lived near the top of the building. He, like so many, was running down the stairwell trying to evacuate that building when he saw a mom and her children struggling with all of that smoke as it was filling up the building. He asked if they needed help. She said yes. He grabs a three-year-old little girl, wraps a blanket around her, a jacket, puts her in an ambulance as he and the little girl rush here to St. Barnabas. Tonight, the mother is thankful her little girl is okay. Say thank you. With a tiny wave, three-year-old Queen is now out of the hospital, safe with mom after escaping Sunday's deadly fire in the Bronx. I cried all day. Even when um, we got here and I finally see her, I'm still crying because it's just, it's so traumatizing. Your day, you wake up thinking your day is going to be like this, and it happens to be something that she was not expecting. Fatima Woods says she and her children struggled to make it out of the 19-story high-rise. We were trying to um, make our way from the ninth floor down to the exit. The smoke was quickly filling the building. They were stuck. But when they finally reached the stairwell, a stranger stepped in to help. Me and that man had bumped into each other. He asked, did we need help bringing the kids down? So I told him, yeah, so he grabbed my daughter. As soon as I got down, the kid, the kid was cold. She didn't have enough clothes. So I took off my jacket and I robbed my jacket. And I went to an uh, ambulance for her to come see if she's okay. Mohammed Keita didn't hesitate. He says he carried the child to safety, getting her to an ambulance before the rest of her family even made it out. Both were taken to St. Barnabas. They are okay. I was just sitting down and shaking, like people just going through. They couldn't breathe. They're performing CPR, cardiac arrest. Like, I've never seen something like it. So I was just shaking the whole time. Without him, what, what could have happened? <sighs> Only God knows. It could have been way worse. This mother, just thankful her little girl is alive. I can't wait to see him, to show him how thankful I am. I was just trying to do the right thing, you know. I know at this time everybody was struggling. A lot of people lost their life. So I was just trying to do the help thing. You could certainly tell as he was leaving the hospital tonight just how shaken he was by this whole ordeal. But he is thankful he was there to be at the right place at the right time to help this young child. We know tonight both the stranger, Mohammed, and the family, the mom, Fatima, they have now connected tonight. Very thankful. We should also tell you, Fatima, thankful for the fire department. Firefighters eventually helped get her and another child out of the building. Live tonight outside of St. Barnabas, I'm Adam Harding, News 4 New York.